right there is the White House. And over here is Lafayette Park. And we're going to walk diagonal through Lafayette Park. Do you know what that means, Master Stacker? Lafayette Park? No, it means we are headed to the secret DC LCS, or local coin shop, the most secure facility in DC. Let's go right now. One stacker on a journey to find silver. International stacker. All right, guys, here it is. All right, you got my foot taken off. <laughs> All right, we're going to the basement of the bunker. Down to the bunker. You guys, we just had to go through security to get in here. You didn't see that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have all asked. We're back here again with Nelson from Capital Coins. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing very well, thank you. And you know, every time I come here, I joke about this being a secret bunker for coins, you know, because there's there's a security process to get in here. Yeah, there and is. We're deep down inside un, in the underbelly of D.C. It's almost. great because Secret Service is next door, so you can't get much better protection. Nelson is protected because he's an important man. And everyone wants to know, how are you doing? How are things uh, going? Things have picked up a lot it was pretty pretty bad during COVID but uh, foreigners are coming in tourists are coming in again so things are looking good and are people buying more gold or more silver these days more silver more silver Maybe okay because silver is so much less expensive gold's over eighteen hundred dollars an ounce silver's only 21 and change yeah a lot cheaper you a lot yeah more for, your, for your money with buying silver are you seeing over the last few years have you seen more younger people buying gold and silver or uh, only with their parents. Only with their parents. Yeah. Okay. Most kids today, it's cell phones and computers. They don't care about phones. It's too bad, but that's the way the situation is. Well, I mean, every phone or TV has some silver in it, so they should <laughs> care about it, right? <laughs> right? So what is the most interesting thing uh, that you've seen come through these doors in maybe the past year or so? Well, there's not a lot of presidential gift items, which normally nobody can get. Mm. Because it's stuff that the president gives away mm -hmm. when you visit the White House. Right. Well, you know, like cufflinks, golf balls, all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's the most interesting sort of stuff. What do you think, um, as you see people sell and buy, what do you think the most popular items are these days? Uh, well, the bullion gold and bullion silver. Mm -hmm. You know, silver eagles and then the silver gold eagles, silver eagles are the most popular items. Now, what's your take on what the current rise of inflation we've seen? Do you think that's why so many people are buying the bullion? Uh, I think so. Yeah, right. In case something happens with the U.S. dollar, but if it does, then everything's going to collapse. But people want some protection. Mm. Now, do you think that... I, and I ha this is a loaded question because I think this, but do you think governments are trying to eventually switch people over to a digital currency? What do you think about that? I don't think the governments are, but a lot of the private companies are. Yeah, the cryptocurrencies. Yeah. yeah. To me, I wouldn't touch it with a fork. Seems like a you racket, a, huh? You got a piece of, it's a Ponzi scheme. Yeah. It's another Madoff situation, but people are making millions of dollars. Never I'm losing them millions of dollars, too. Yeah, someone gets lucky and someone gets caught holding the bag, right? Now remind me, what? how old were you when you got into coins? Eight years old. Okay, and was it you were working at a shop with your dad or something no, like no, that? No, what I was it? I collected everything as a kid. Okay. I like collecting. I collected coins, match covers, postcards, uh, stamps, a uh, little bit of everything, so... Now, what happened to... I remember as a kid, stamps were still... I saw stuff on TV, and there's TV shows. Did it just collapse like Stamp baseball cards? It got ruined when the government put the adhesives on the back of the postage stamps. Oh, why so? Because then you can't use the stamps anymore to collect. Oh, and that's what collapsed it? It really collapsed most of it. The people stopped. And then they, 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 they made 480 million of every stamp. So they weren't going to be worth a lot. Are there any very old, very rare stamps that are still worth anything, or is oh, it just oh, totally yeah, eclipsed? It's early U.S. American stamps. Okay. They haven't been canceled. So if there's an early canceled, stamp. Then the value goes way down. Okay, so if I find some old, early American stamps, it could be worth something. It could be worth something. 
Mm. You're better off with coins. Okay. Or paper money. You got into it more for, it sounds like the collection, collecting purposes. What's your take on gold and silver being a hedge against inflation? That's a good thing to have. Mm. I mean, you don't want to put all your money in, but you should have a little. I mean, look at this year with the, the inflation. If yeah. all your money was in dollars, you're in trouble, right? Exactly. Exactly. You've got to have some gold and silver. So I've seen a lot of new people getting into gold and silver. And if somebody is new watching this video, how should they start? Well, silver, they should be buying silver eagles, which are pure silver, rather than just the 90% old silver dollars. Mm -hmm. And then on gold, if they don't have a lot to start out with, a uh, one-tenth of an ounce gold piece, which is like $225. Mm -hmm. And then the ounce, of course, is over 1900 how much gold and how much silver is enough? There's never enough. Oh, I love that There's answer. Never enough. Yeah, I, 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 the, the billionaires have more, and the and the guys that don't have a little still have some. And you know what's funny? You see people saying, "Oh, gold and silver is ancient. It's not worth it. It doesn't matter." But what are all the central banks doing right now? Buying a tons of gold, literally. Do you think the U.S. will ever return to a gold standard or silver coinage? It should, but I don't think they ever will. Because we can't deficit spend, right? right exactly. Gosh. Yeah. What do you think it would take to return to that? Some honest politicians. <laughs> oh, that's never happening. There's no honest politicians, <laughs> I'm afraid to tell you. The Congress is controlled by lobbyists, mm -hmm. and the lobbyists control the government. Have you ever had any famous presidents or anything come in here over there? How long have you been here for? In this location, mm -hmm. six years. And how long in D.C.? Uh, 60 years. Wow. Yeah. Is this your favorite spot so far? So far. I love, I love that you're right next to the White House. That's awesome. Do you get a lot of... And I may be out of business next month. Why? Because they're trying to sell the building, and if they sell the building, we want everybody out. Dang. I don't want to move again. I moved six times can't move all this stuff. There's too much stuff. So what are you going to... Are you? I don't know. I may have to just try to wholesale stuff off. I mean, should I give you my phone number? <laughs> sure. Well, yeah. I am international stacker, of course. Okay. Um, well, any last piece of uh, advice or wisdom you can share with folks? You've obviously been into gold and silver for longer than most people watching have been alive, right? What, what's your advice? Well, just continue to collect what you like. Don't buy it for the investment, but... If you like a certain item, buy it because you like it. Don't buy it just because you think the value is going up. I never recommend anything for investment. Mm -hmm. Only for what an individual particularly likes. And remember what he said, folks. You can never have enough. Well, thank you, Nelson. You're more than welcome. It's always a pleasure and an honor to speak to, 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 speak to you. Well, you can't leave unless you buy something. Right? Okay, I think Master Stacker's been eyeing some stuff. Look, we're we're going to look around here and pick something out. Okay, sounds good. I think I'm going to do this Russian set. And then a uh, $2 face of walkers. And there should be a dollar face of dimes. Let's see. All right, Nelson, we'll see so you next see time. See you on the next trip, hopefully not too long. All right, we'll be back. All right. Bye. Bye. Thanks again. Thank you. One stacker.